What's going on, my truckers? Welcome to my trucker news. Email us at my trucker news at gmail.com. Want to get into a couple of today's top stories so that we could talk about them and so that you could know right away, especially on the I 70 in eastern Missouri. Uh, there's been a pile up, you know, we already know no one checks the weather, it gets real bad, and uh, it's been shut down for hours, right? Let's go into this real quick to give you all of the access here it says a pileup crash has shut down a portion of i-70 in warren county missouri the pileup occurred on the afternoon of friday february 16th on westbound i-70 west of warrington missouri so here is a clip from this here and i just want to share it to you so that you guys know uh, a lot of it is shut down and people have been stuck for hours you know ashley nicole says letting y'all know to avoid warrington or 70 in general you know, she was late for all her appointments today. Westbound I-70 is closed between Wright City and Warrington. Quote, unquote, if you are not already on the road, do not absolutely positively have to be on the road. Please stay off the road. All the roadways, all of them should be considered dangerous. If you are on the road and traffic is a sit at a standstill, be prepared to wait for hours. So I had a lot of people uh, tag me in this and uh, wanted some clarification saying, Alex, California now has a DOT uh, drones and, you know, they're giving truck drivers tickets. You know, here's a clip of this. And so I actually reach out to Brandon Goes Trucking and he's on YouTube and TikTok. And I go, hey, man, is this real or were you just having fun? And he said 100 percent. He was just having fun with this. And, you know, it just kind of went viral. So all the mother truckers out there. Uh, just letting you know, Brandon goes trucking. He likes to make a lot of fun videos. You know, you can watch him if you want to smile. But this right here is not a real situation. Just want people to know so that they're not calling the DOT of California asking why they're using drones to give truck drivers tickets or something because that's just not the case. But uh, Brandon goes trucking. Hey, I appreciate you for letting me talk about this. So here I am just chilling in my truck. And apparently California has DOT drones. What the hell? It's even got the red and blues on top. What the heck are they doing? I'm just sitting in the dock. I'm not bothering nobody. Now, I wanted to share this one right here. You know, I flew to Vegas and I checked out this uh, conference where they're just showing, you know, the updated tech that they're going to be using for shippers and truck drivers. And I saw this one that was called Eagle. And so I asked the guy if I could film it and he explained it to us. You know, what do you think about this technology right here? Uh, basically, you know, all the hours of waiting so that you could get checked in. You know, he created something where it looks like it's just fast and seamless. And I wonder if this right here will help fight, you know, uh, double brokering as far as, you know, if the right truck and trailer do not match, then they won't let you in. But, you know, let's get into this right here. Tell me what you think, but just want to show you the tech of the future so that you know how the industry and the trucking industry is really going. What's going on, mother truckers? We're hanging out here right now at Manifest. And, you know, we're always looking for situations that could help out owner operators more. And Eagle thinks they have that solution. Anthony, uh, introduce yourself. Hi, Anthony Demori. I'm with Eagle. I'm the COO and CFO. You know, and so tell us, how is this going to actually help out owner operators and truck drivers? A couple of different ways. If you don't mind, I'd like to walk you through a three minute presentation and uh, you'll better understand the product. Sure. So, this is called our AVAC solution. And what we're focusing on is automation, efficiency, and uh, accuracy. So right now, any distribution center, a trailer pulls up. God, guy comes out, takes about 5 to 12 minutes with a pen and paper, asks you all the questions, takes down all the information. Or the truck driver has to step out of the truck, go to the office, and register. We're eliminating that process. We leverage existing cameras so that when the truck pulls up, the driver doesn't even know what's going on behind the scenes. But we're actually capturing the information, as you can see. Uh, diesel truck, plate number. We actually captured 25 different data fields, uh, including uh, ch uh, chassis number on uh, containers. Now, all the truck drivers, to make your life easier, you get a web link where you get a QR code. You fill in six, seven data fields, like your driver license number, your name, your truck number, so it matches the warehouse, the YMS system. When you pull up, like I said, you're not gonna know this is even happening. You scan your QR code on one of our kiosks. What this is now doing is real time confirming with the YMS system 
that the right truck driver, the right container is here. Once they get allowed, approved, the gate's going to open, but we're also going to tell the truck driver where to drop the load off. So we got granted access. Truck goes in, right? If you notice here, you are here. We're going to give you real directions on how to get to your spot and you park a trailer. Now we know that your asset's been there. When we do the scan, we also track the trailer for any damage. So what that does is if somebody says that the trailer, your truck was damaged in the yard, you're able to verify if the damage was already there or not. The other thing I want to show you guys is on the way out as well, there's another kiosk. And the reason that's there is a lot of times truck drivers are in a rush, they might pull the wrong trailer. Just make sure that the driver is leaving with the right trailer so you get the credit for the right trailer. Green light goes on and you're on your way. So we're reducing the gate time here anywhere from 5 to 12 minutes to 30 seconds or less. Wow. And you, you add hundreds of trucks and now you're now waiting two, three hours, right? Possible customer here, his average uh, yard is 700 trucks a day. So, you know, you can imagine if you take, saving nine minutes per truck, the efficiency there alone, but we also work with any YMS system in the yard. Our vision, will uh, our cameras will pick up where the truck parked. So if it is in the wrong spot, we update the system in real time. So the drivers don't have to look for a trailer for four hours driving back and forth. That's good, man, because, yeah, these drivers, man, they're waiting hours and hours. And then when Let's they get in there, California yeah. to Boston, you're tired, you want to just get on your way. You don't want to sit at the gate for 20 minutes, you know what I mean? You want to be told, hey, you're approved, we know your load's here, drop it off, thank you. On the way out, you don't have a, a load, you're gone. That's it, and it's accurate. Yeah, cool. You know, hey, mother truckers, this is the future right here, and you know what? It's going to make it faster. You know, tell me what you think about this right here. So, hey, I appreciate you, Anthony. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. Yeah.